road trip to Wales. So we've just stopped off at uh, a McDonald's for a pee stop. So and a leg stretch. Been travelling what two and a half, two and a half, two and a half hours, two hours. Yeah. About two hours been travelling. So I'm just gonna go get something to eat now. Before it in the sunshine before it starts raining tonight. Apparently, we're gonna have thunderstorms tonight, and we're all got nowhere to sleep as yet for tonight. So, we're gonna find somewhere to wild camp. Okay. Um, but now we're on the Blue Bridge, uh, which is in Vil. Oh, in Vil on the way to Tawin. So now we're on the Blue Bridge, and uh, this is the harbour. I always remember I was Ian trying to climb this when we was a kid up this bit. <laughs> I don't, I, I can't remember how far I got up it. Or if I did manage to go all over it, I can't remember. But you can see we're on the blue bridge now. I'll just show you. It's the other side. Christian. <laughs> so yeah, that's the, the marquee. Look, this monster. You see it? <laughs> oh, Jan's found the Loch Ness monster. I'm not going to try and get over there. Yeah, it's, uh, this hasn't changed, but. The hill's changed a lot, a hell of a lot. Um, over on that side, over there, that used to be the fur ground, that did, all down here. Uh, that's well and truly gone. Bus just went over, I just felt this bridge vibrate. We've just landed now and uh, we're in Land Udno, but we're just on the outskirts of the main Great Arm at the moment. In the background you can see, well you probably can't see it, but up, up on there is the Great Arm and then that is Little Arm, that one there. And then Penryn Bay, uh, and we're just on this site at the minute. So we're just having a walk round 
and the lady's just said to us in the not so near distant future she's going to be putting uh, glamping pods on here so that's uh, where we are and on this site this site now is we've got for tents and then you've got caravans and mobile vans camper vans caravans tourers so yeah we're gonna have a look now around the mountain side of it and see if we can uh, get the drone up hopefully Jan's got a stick <laughs> this alone, you'll be jealous. so let's uh, go and get this drone up well I've never seen a black sheep close up Now that is what you call a view. That is what you call sheep droppings. That is lovely. Wow. That's nice. This is one of Lan Dudno's hidden gems, this. It's lovely. There's the shepherd. <laughs> <laughs>
see in the video, I've just took the drone up. Uh, not took it too far. A little bit of a breeze, not much breeze, but I still wanted to make sure um, all the firmware updates been done on it. So I took it um, out there and around here. There's Jan chilling out on the hillside. <clears throat> But yeah, there's uh, quite a few sheep on here, and this this apparently uh, the lady's just said to us that this is her like this is her mountain as well, her, her hillside. So you can't get any better than views like that. The other thing about spores is them bloody things you see. I don't think you can see them on here. I'll try and zoom in. But across the sea, there's like uh, what are they call Jan wind turbines. But yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Now, we could have stayed here and watched the sunset. But I've not finished up. We need something to eat. And the sun's sunsets near the Great Arm. Like I say, you can see the Great Arm in the, in the distance on there. Yeah, I wish I could have flew to the Great Arm and back. As soon as you mention one word to these sheep, they'll run off. Wellies. Look at them go. I've only mentioned wellies and they're gone. <laughs> Where's my wellies? Get me wellies. Look at them go. Where's my wellies? Get me wellies quick, Jan. Look at him go. I've only mentioned wellies and he's gone. Jan's trying to act like a sheep. She's here. Well, we're sleeping tonight. Um, it's not wild camping, but it camping is with camping with a difference. So I'll just show you. That's me for the night. In there. And <laughs> Jan. As that. <laughs> My abode for the night. So look at this view again. <laughs> and we've just ordered a breakfast because we can't go to our B&B yet as yet till half past 11 so we're just going to wait to see what our breakfast is like we've got a cup of tea, cup of tea now. I can't show you Jan at the minute because she says she's not uh, prepared for the day I've so, been buffing it. So, we've been Hello, <coughs> Last night was unbelievable. It threw it down, completely threw it down. But the place where we stayed, the views was unbelievable. Like you see on the previous video, um, the views. I put, I put a little bit of a clip of the video on our, um, of where we stayed and the views we had. But now it's moment in time. Um, we're in the middle of land, but now just waiting for our breakfast. Over to the your right, my left. Um, we've got peacocks down there, mushy gerbert, and up in the distance, up on there, is the great hall. So, so this is where we are now. So, we'll have our breakfast and then we'll have a, another walk round, a, a, another little bit of a nose there, and see what else I can show you. 
it took us three hours and 20 minutes from Nottingham to get here. Um, we had one stop on the way and we had uh, a bit of traffic jam for 20 minutes so it's not been too bad you can tell the crappiest joke here but still you get somebody to laugh at it like you can say why did the Englishman cross the road to get to the other side and then You can hear them laughing at you. It's quite busy. Um, sun's not out. Apparently we've got showers and uh, thunderstorms later on tonight. So I'll video all that as well so you can see what them... Because last night it was thundering uh, and lightning was... It lit up the skies. It was good. And I was under, only underneath that piece of tarp. Costa del Deque, Landudno. So that's uh, show you. That's the uh, the Grand Hotel. I'll show you when we get closer to that, and you can see the mist in the top bit and the Great Arm. Um, not, it's not a pebble beach. It's more of a rock. So we're, now we're just going to walk along uh, the front now and uh, have a walk along the pier. Come to the town without fish and chips. Oh, there he is. Nice one. Let's go and get some fish and chips. Two fish, chips and peas. Two cans of coke, twenty-one pound fifty. But yeah, you do get a proper meal. I don't get half an egg bar and chips. Oh, so it's chips, peas, fish, and a can of corn each. It's way one fifty. So, yeah, well, I was walking up before. It looked like it was ready for throwing it down. And now, the sun's come back out again. So, it looks like, uh, we're in for another sunny day. Great storm. Oh, you can see. It's cleared up. Come on. <laughs> Bloody hell. She's... Hey, hang on a minute. Alice in Wonderland, the writer of Alice in Wonderland, and here's, here's the Madata. Uh, 
we've been gabbing and we've just been walking and walking and walking and uh, we wanted some of the like snacks for, for room and that for tonight and a bottle of wine for tonight so we've walked from one end of the pier to the other end hey, the on the street thing. behind so that's the second street behind and then obviously you come to uh, this bit of a retail park and on this retail park we have Primark Wallace, Burton's, Superdrug, River Island Next A look at jam <laughs> Craghoppers, I think Is that Craghoppers? Boots Regatta, Craghopper, yeah uh, JD Sports, River Island <laughs> 